Hey guys, AJ here, back with another one. So, I just want to say happy Friday to everyone. I hope you had a good week. I hope everything is going well. Um, so today, we're going to look at an article. Everyone knows that the elections, the midterms, are less than a week away. And I've been going in on this Stacey Abrams thing, and I found something a little bit uh, surprising today. Well, it's not surprising, but a lot of people might think it is. And I found an article that was released by the Wall Street Journal today, and it is called White Suburban Women Swing Towards Backing Republicans for Congress. New Wall Street Journal poll shows key group of midterm voters favors the GOP by 15 percentage points. So we're going to go into this article, and then I'm going to kind of uh, do a little summary and then talk about why this relates to the red pill and then black men's votes too and we'll bring it all back around so this article is written by Catherine lucy it was published november 3rd 2022 so it says white suburban women a key group of midterm voters have significantly shifted their support from democrats to republicans in the closing days of the midterm campaigning because of rising concerns over the economy and inflation according to the latest wall street journal journal poll the survey, which included 297 white women living in the suburbs, found that they favored the Republicans in Congress races by 15 percentage points. That represented a substantial shift in recent, we uh, shift in recent weeks among a group that makes up 20 percent of the electorate. Think about that, guys. They're trying to uh, contend for black male votes, and we're way less than 20 percent of the electorate. electorate. But this is 20 percent. In the journal's August poll, a white suburban woman favored Democrats by 12 percentage points. It also suggested that the topic of abortion rights has faded in, important, in importance after Democrats saw um, energy on that issue this summer in the wake of the Supreme Court's decision to overturn Roe v. Wade. So I'm going to stop right there. Did you notice in my video where it said uh, that Stacey Abrams was trying to make the economy uh to say like a woman's economic choice lead, leads to abortion or something so the democrats have really been leaning into this abortion thing but this poll is starting to show that women are starting to move on towards issues like why is gas you know 80 bajillion dollars a gallon or why is bread this much or whatever and they're, they're they're past that so in my previous video, I had also said that, you know, it seems that people in order care about the economy, abortion, and then COVID. So it is what it is. Back into it. We're talking about a collapse, if you will. And that group on the perceptions of the economy said the Republican pollster Tony Fabrizio, who conducted the poll with Democratic pollster John uh, Anzalone. So this is a Democratic pollster and a Republican poll pollster did this. The poll showed that 54% of white suburban women think the U.S. is already in a recession and 74% think the economy is headed in the wrong direction. Views of the economy among that group were substantially more negative than in the journal's most recent prior survey. In August, 43% thought the economy had entered a recession, and 59% said the economy was heading in the wrong direction. And you can, you can see this, uh, this chart here. Republicans up, Democrats down. The movement comes as several voter, voter groups are giving the Republicans a boost in the final stretch before Election Day. Side, sidebar, it is funny that in Georgia, they, they did say that the, the Democrats tend to do well in elect elections because younger people and Democratic supporters tend to vote early. So even this poll early on seemed in the favor of like Stacey Abrams and her ilk, but you can see that as as the midterms come more closer, then things start to unravel. So it says white suburban women were a powerful force in the Democrat sweeping victories in House races in 2018 when the party gained more than 40 seats, many of them in suburban districts and retook control of the House. And that is true because there's all these articles that were saying that Hispanics and white women or whatever helped Joe Biden get into the White House, etc. 
Democrats had been optimistic over the summer that abortion would help motivate this group to turn out and back their candidates in November. According to the survey, rising prices were the top motivate with the top issue motivating these voters with 34% putting that their, as their number one priority, followed by 28% citing threats to democracy and 16% choosing the Supreme Court overturning Roe. Wow. So the Roe v. Wade thing is number three out of the issues polled. White suburban women trusted Republicans over Democrats to handle the economy and Inflation. They also expressed more negative views towards the state of the country and uh, President Biden's leadership compared with the previous survey in August. So this is just from August to now, which is n- November. A total of 85% of these voters said they were very motivated to vote. So not only are they saying that they're going to vote for the GOP, but they're saying that they're motivated voters too. Uh, so a total of 85% of these voters said they were very motivated to vote, making them among the most motivated groups of those surveyed. Diana Giannassi, 68 years old, of Lincoln, California, said she has already voted for a straight Republican ticket, and this is in California. A registered independent, she leans Republican, but she said she has never before voted straight GOP. Right now, I feel that the Democrats are ruining our country, she said, citing her concerns about securing the southern border and higher prices. We're on fixed income, she said, and the gas is unbelievable. And I did see that there was parts of L.A. where gas was like $9 a gallon or like $10 a gallon. It was one of those areas where there's like a lot of uh, um, executives for the movie studios. So they, they said that they use company cards and all that other stuff. But still, that's a lot of money for some gas. Um, asked who had a better plan, 50% of this cohort said that Republicans in Congress and 35% said Democrats. On inflation, 55% said that Republicans would get it under control and 24% said Democrats. In August, Democrats easily beat Republicans on economic plans, though Republicans were ahead on the inflation question by um, a smaller margin. Ruth Ann Ramsey of Dar- Darien, Connecticut, is an independent voter who's not made up her mind yet, but says she's leaning Republican because of her concerns about the economy. She says, I think that generally I would trust Democrats on social issues, but trust the Republicans more on monetary issues, she said. I think that the, that the economy is number one in my mind. It's costing people so much more to live. A combined 66% of white suburban women also said that rising costs are causing a, ma- a major or minor financial strain compared to 54% in August. It's impacting us personally. I came out with a few grocery bags and I paid $120, said Susan Smith, of Prakasi, Pennsylvania, a Republican who plans to vote for the GOP. I eat che- Cheerios every morning and they've doubled in price. For regular Cheerios? You be- Not Honey Nut? Damn. Overall, cons- the consumer prices rose 6.2% in September from a year earlier, the same pace as in August and near 40-year high, according to the Federal Reserve's preferred inflation measure. The personal consumption... Expenders Price Index. Households continue to benefit f- from a strong labor m- market, and gasoline prices are also down from a mid-June peak. Overall, white suburban women trust the, Re- the Republicans more on crime and foreign policy. Now, this is interesting because you look at places like California and wa- Washington State, where Seattle has a lot of homeless and stuff, and L.A. and San Francisco, a lot of pe- people really are pissed off at some of the crime there, you know? And you look at the L.A. mayoral elect election with the more conservative guys winning because a lot of people in L.A. are actually like, whoa, we need someone to help with these crime sprees and these shootings and these homeless. So, um, overall, white, white suburban 
women trust the Republicans more on crime and foreign policy. They said that Democrats, they were better able to deal with lowering prescription drug prices. The parties were closely tied on which is best at handling the issues of abortion and education. Abortion remains a, a concern for these women, but has been crowded by other issues. And yes, that's true. The pollster said, noting that time has passed since the high court's ruling and the immediate outrage among some voters. Yeah, so all that, this is going to be the handmaid's tales over, over with. In competitive districts, voters are seeing advertising pushing other issues such as crime, just like Brian Kemp was doing in that debate, talking about cracking down on cartels and street gangs. It continues, it's absolutely true that these women have shifted their gaze more on the economy than abortion, said Democratic pollster Molly Murphy, who works with Mr. Anzalone. She said abortion is still a concern, but they think we're in a recession. A majority are feeling a financial strain in this economy. Abortion could put a bigger role in some states such as Michigan, where the November ballot includes a question for voters about whether to provide a state's constitutional right to Abortion. Karen Streisfield Leitner, ugh, with the hyphenation sidebar. Guys, if you're going to be with a chick and you do want to do some purple pill stuff and get married, if she won't take your last name, don't drop kick her. Don't even, come on. That, I'm going to make a video about that. If you have to marry this chick and, and, and be her husband and do all this stuff and she won't take your last name even... Come on, man. That's disrespectful. So, said that she would be voting straight a Democratic and said that abortion remains her top issue. I think it's a critical right being threatened and in many places being taken away. And I think there's a GOP assault that's happening on that right, she said. Miss Giannassi, the California voter, said she has concerns about crime. Listen to this. We don't go out at night anymore because of it. We can't go out. Say we can't go to Sacramento after dark. It's affected our lives. The poll offers some warnings for President Biden. His approval rating has dropped among white suburban women with 38 percent approving and 60 percent disapproving of his job performance. In August, 51 percent approved and 48 percent disapproved. A total of 74% of white suburban women said the country was headed in the wrong direction compared to 65% in August. In 2024, let's see, if the 2024 election were between Biden and Trump, 41% of suburban white women said they would vote for Biden and 52% for Trump. In August, it was 55% Biden and 39% Trump. The Wall Street Journal poll included 1,500 registered voters who were reached by phone and text from October 2022 to 2026. The sample of white suburban was smaller and has a margin of error of plus or minus 5.7% points or 8 percentage points on some of the policy questions. So, you might ask, AJ, why are you talking about, about this? Well, the number one re reason is from an actual red pill perspective. All through my my whole life, and especially since this whole Roe v. Wade thing, we hear, oh, no, it's the patriarchy, and oh, the Republicans are getting in because of men, and men are doing this, and men are doing that, and men are just the, e the reason why, you know, uh, everything goes wrong. Well, guess what? There's going to be a red wave coming, and white suburban women are going to be the ones voting in mass and getting a lot of these Republican candidates in. Let that sink in for a second. Anytime that you see some, you know, uh, a short haired, you know, purple short haired lesbian looking chick with her, you know, uh, my body, my choice sign. And she's screaming and yelling and saying men are trash. It's women who look just like her live in the suburbs that are completely going against what she says on mass and then men got to hear it and that's why you just don't even engage with those people you just don't just, just leave them alone 
because ultimately they're in, they're in their own little world and they're just gonna make make a lot of noise and then uh uh stamp the little feet like children children but to my previous videos when times get hard you look at, at the case of black men black men tend to be more conservative and tend and tend to be more fiscally and socially conservative right so in hard times we're saying look who's going to be doing the most for me right and we don't let a lot of these narratives cloud our judgment about oh you know we're going to legalize pot and all these stupid issues that have nothing to do with us getting jobs and it seems like these suburban white women in this article are saying look you can try and use the abortion emotional argument all you want but if you know cheerios cost eight dollars gas costs 25 dollars i can't afford orange juice what am i supposed to do so i think that it's really 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 stupid that a lot of the democrats tend to look at groups like black men and these white women and say we can focus on an issue that we assume based on your gender or on your race that you're going to vote for us for all right guys this is aj uh, thanks for listening like and subscribe stay safe and i am out of here